Hello everyone, in this video I will cover retain and its functions, ok. So the first function of retain is to change the order of variable. So over here I have taken example of sashelp.class. Over here you can see the order of variable is first name, second sex, third age, fourth height, fifth weight. Now let's say I want weight first and remaining order can be same. That also I can do using retain. Let's say I want to change the order of all the variables. That also I can do it. So I'll show it to you over here. See data, data set name. Okay. Then I've used retain and I've written all the variables here in the order in which I want. Okay. Age, sex, height, weight, name. The key point over here is that it should be used before the set statement. I'll just run it. You can see what is the order now age sex height weight name the order in which i want it so always remember if you want to change the order of the variable write retain before the set statement that is the key point to remember second and third point are related so retain what does it do actually it actually holds the value in the pdb pdb is what program data vector okay so because it holds the value, now you will be able to find out the cumulative sum or the running total for a variable or for a group in a variable. So for both, you can find out, right? So what is a cumulative sum? It is the sum of a given sequence, right? So over here, I'll give you an example of cumulative sum. See, age is 14. Okay, so what will happen? In retain, 14 will come here, let's say. Okay, then for this 14 plus 13 is 27, 27 plus 13 is 40, 40 plus 14 is 54, 54 plus 14 is 68, 68 plus 12 is 80, like that. So it will keep adding and finally you will get the last may, the total sum. Okay, so this is known as your cumulative sum or your running total. Fine, so retain will help you to find out that. How can you do that now? See here. First for that you should know the syntax. So the syntax is retain new variable value okay so by default the value will be zero and that value will be applicable only for the first uh, value of the variable means see here it is 14 right if i write value as zero for retain also the uh, the retain variable will also have value 14 here if i write 2 14 plus 2 16 will come okay 14 plus 2 16 will come and then 16 plus 13 will happen then 29 plus 13 like that so for the first uh, value for the first observation of the retain variable that value will get added okay now over here so as i told you retain new variable uh, i have taken it as z and the value is 0 i have taken so now you can use it after the set statement only to change the order you should use it before uh, set statement okay remember that so how will you calculate the z as i told you i want it h plus z okay so that is what i have done so this will help you to get the cumulative sum i'll show it to you see now you got z so your first stage is 14 14 14 plus 13 is 27 27 plus 13 is 40 40 plus 14 54 like that till end this is known as your running total or cumulative sum now I'll tell you about the C retain variable name value. Now I'll change the value to 1. So that it was 14, right? Now it will become 15. Correct, 15. Now this plus 1 got only for the first value. Now 15 plus 13 is 28. Now it is not becoming 28 plus 1. So that is what you need to remember. The value will be applicable only for the first observation in the retain variable which is Z here. Okay. That is what I am telling about value. So please remember that. Now this was cumulative sum for the whole, va whole vari variable, right? The whole variable was my age. So for it, the total is, wait, let me just execute it. Yeah, so the total is 254. So it is the total of the whole age, right? Now in age, you can see we have 14, 13, 12, 15, 1, 16 and 11. Now let's say I want to divide it in the group. I want the sum of 
eleven separately, fifteen separately, twelve separately, fourteen separately. That also you can use. For that you need to first sort the data because we'll be using first dot variable for this. Okay, we'll be using first dot variable to get that. Okay, so that is the cumulative sum for group. I am trying to find out. So first I'll sort it according to the age. Okay, let me just run it. So over here you can see we have two age for 11 and 11. Then for 12 we have five. Then for 13 three. For 14 again four. For 15 we have four. And for 16 only one. Now I want to find the cumulative sum for each age. Okay. So I will be using your first dot variable here. So see data data set name set the new. So I have sorted according to this. So I have written it here. Then by age because we are using by statement in first dot variable. That is why I had to sort the data. Now retain variable name value. Correct. Now what I am doing is if first dot age is equal to one, then z is equal to age. That means your first value that is this. If first dot age is equal to this, then z is equal to age. So z is equal to also it will be 14, correct? Like that. Else z plus age. So otherwise it will add it. So let me just run it. There you go. See for 11 age. So this is your first dot variable, right? For 11. So it wrote 11. Otherwise what I told? Age plus z. So 11 plus 11, 22. Like that. Now you see, now it is not getting added up. So 11 ended here. So it is done. 22 will be the final. Now 12 is repeating five times. So 12 will get added up now. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. 20, 60. Done. See. Then for 13, three are there. So 13, 26, 39. So it is finding the cumulative sum for each group present in the variable age. So this is how we find it out. Okay. So in interview, they can ask you which variable, uh, which function you will use to change the order of variables. You have to tell retain statement you can use. Then how can you find the cumulative sum? You have to use retain. And uh, what mistake people usually do is they uh, forget about that uh, retain is used before the set statement if you want to change the order of variables. So that is one thing you have to remember. Okay. And you can find out cumulative sum for the whole variable or even for the group of a variable, group in a variable. Okay. So that's all in this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Daily I'll try to upload one or two videos. Thank you.